Uh, one of the, the most uh, important things that we, uh, that we do is the implementation of behavior support plans or behavior support programs. Uh, it's very important to, uh, to understand that before uh, you have any behavior support plan or any type of behavior intervention, uh, you first have to have that assessment conducted first. And an assessment would compose of uh, direct uh, observations, um, uh, interviews, indirect methodologies, those types of things. So what you're trying to do is to determine what the function of the behavior is. Um, function being what it is that the individual is trying to gain or to communicate or to escape or get out of. Three of the key components that we really like to look at um, to help support teachers and direct support professionals and families um, are proactive uh, procedures, reactive procedures, and also replacement behavior procedures. And I'll talk a little bit about the three of them. The proactive procedures are very important because it helps to give uh, a person that's implementing a behavior support plan, which would be a family member, a direct support staff, or, or, uh, or an educational professional. It gives them the opportunity to have a, a group of, of things that they can utilize that could potentially uh, avert a particular unwanted behavior from occurring or to reinforce a behavior that they would possibly want to occur. So proactive procedures are very important because it gives you a set of tools of what you can do and how you can uh, shape your environment to get a more positive outcome from an individual. The second thing that I had mentioned were, were reactive procedures. And oftentimes people think of reactive procedures and say, um, is this uh, how uh, I would react to, uh, to an inappropriate or a targeted behavior that I wanted to be changed? And, and that's, that's a large component of it, is how we are going to be prepared to react to a targeted and well-defined behavior or group of, of behaviors, um, and how we're going to react to those uh, as a whole and consistently. So if we're talking about uh, a family member uh, or family members or, or educational professionals or direct support staff, we're not just talking about how one person will, will react, but how we react consistently and what those strategies are of how we're, we're prepared to do so and react appropriately. Keeping in mind, as we had talked about earlier, we're going to respond not how we think or how we are, uh, uh, how our instincts have us it's it, to respond, but it's going to be based upon what the function of the behavior is. So we're not going to respond or react to a te to, with an attention-seeking behavior if it's to gain attention. We're going to react in a different manner. So we've got the proactive procedures, we've got the reactive procedures, and the most important is what we call replacement behavior techniques or skills. And that's one of the beauties of what we do at Elite Behavior Analysis and what Applied Behavior Analysis does, is it focuses very heavily on teaching more socially appropriate behaviors so the individual can still maintain what it is they're trying to gain from the inappropriate behavior. So I'm going to teach throughout the day, every hour, every 15 minutes, I'm going to to develop a set of skills within that behavior support plan that helps that individual learn a more socially appropriate skill. So if I have uh, an individual that um, is using inappropriate language and every time that inappropriate language is used it's to get attention and the parent or the educational professional or the direct support staff responds, well we're going to teach in very clear cut uh, not abstract interventions, but very specific. Do this, do not do this, what to do to increase a behavior, what to do to decrease a behavior. It's going to be very systematic. It's going to be written on a very uh, user-friendly level of terminology without all the fancy mumbo-jumbo words. It's going to be, um, it's going to include um, interventions that are going to be very easily to implement and one of the things that we really like to do at Elite Behavior Analysis uh, within the behavior analysts that we have is one of our mantras is we want to be able to have behavior support plans that you can fold up, put in your back pocket, 
and anybody can pull it out and use it even if they have no knowledge of applied behavior analysis whatsoever. So the importance of behavior support plans are going to be having a, a, a tool that has a set of, uh, of procedures that anyone is going to be able to pick up that's going to assist them. And what we do at Elite Behavior Analysis, because everything is individualized, we don't write behavior support plans that we feel are going to be written for us. We're writing those behavior support plans relying heavily on the people within the environment. We're relying on the educational professionals, the teachers, the pair pros, the principals, the special education directors. We're relying heavily on mom, dad, sister, brother. We're relying heavily on direct support care staff, your, your uh, independent support coordinators, your personal assistants, the people that work within the environment because you are the ones that are going to be implementing those plans. And that's what separates us from, uh, from other schools of disciplines and from other companies. We utilize the information that you provide to us because it's your plan. It's, it, it doesn't work if we don't have the information from you. We're not the ones that are trying to get a behavior change over time. We can't, we can't see the individual always. So components that make a behavior support plan effective that Elite Behavior Analysis implements, they're all individualized. They are all yours. They're, all, they're written by behavior analysts, but they're the, they're the moms and the dads and, and, the, and the teachers and the paraprofessionals and the direct support staffs. They, they're yours. And, and uh, having, having that information from, from, those, uh, from those sources uh, make what we do very successful. Um, and it's very important to have those components, not just what you are going to do to react to uh, an inappropriate behavior, but what are we going to do as a team to give you the skills to teach more socially appropriate behavior so they can be a part of, of a greater uh, and stronger community and to be more successful uh, in their environments and then also in life in general.